Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer domain from Wix to Shopify in 2024. So, as you said in this video, we'll show you how to do the transfer between uh, your domain, of course, between like Wix uh, to Shopify. Transferring your domain can seem like complicated or something like that, but don't worry. I'll guide you through each step as an example of this process, so it's going to be very easy for you. So, that, that's going to be it for me today, and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end, so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser, of course, first of all, for me here, I'm using Brave for you, you can do whatever you want. Just go to the Seattle section, make sure to open your Wix uh, account and your Shopify account, both of them. So just go to Shopify.com and Wix.com. If it's your first time, basically, you'll be taken to this page on Wix and to this page on Shopify. So here you can click on Login to so Login into your account. As you can see, you can log in using Google, Facebook, or Apple. If you don't have an account, you can create your account doing the same. It's going to be the same for uh, Shopify. Click on login example to log in into an account if you have one. If you don't, go and create an account. You can use Google accounts, Facebook or Apple if you have them. So you don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So for uh, Shopify example, I'll click on login. And for this, I'm already like here logged in. So Shopify, I'll just choose here my account. I guess like my store is already like... Uh, not there. Yeah, like the trial ended. So I'll just go here and create a new store. Click on all stores, click on create a store right here, and I'll just go and click on skip all next, and I should be good to go. As you can see, they are building my store, very simple and very easy. So the first thing that we need to do is prepare your domain on Wix. Make sure your domain is not locked. If it's locked, of course, how to check it, you can simply go to your Wix, uh, go to this list panel, billing in subscriptions, click on domains, and if you have any domain here, it will show uh, right here. So click on manage or click on the three dots and you will find if it's locked or unlocked. If it's locked, just unlock it. If it's unlocked, you don't have to touch it. Of course, after that, uh, this step, by the way, is very, very important for transfer. If it's uh, locked, you will not be able to transfer it. After that, you'll need to get the authorization code or a, uh, also known, of course, as APP code. Uh, you'll find it in the same like domain sections. Uh, you'll have just to look for the option to transfer your domain. As an example, you'll find it in three dots uh, of the same domain. Uh, just click on it and Wix will send basically or give you authorization code to your registered email address. You can check the uh, email address for the code uh, or they can even give it to you here. Then go to your Shopify account as an example. So of course for me, I don't have like a Wix uh, domain. Of course, if you want to get a new one, you can simply buy it from here. And it's pretty like, to be honest, expensive and Wix. You can even get like a plan if you want to. It's going to be better. Uh, if you get a plan, as an example, they will give you a free domain for a year. So if you're going to use it just for a year, as an example, it's going to be good for you. As an example, I'll just show you here. As an example, the basic plan, $12. And you'll get a free domain for a year. Of course, this is if you pay by a yearly, as an example. If you pay monthly, it's going to be 16 instead of 12 So keep that in mind. Uh, of course, other than that, I'll just show you an example if you're trying to uh, buy it instead. So if you click on buy a new domain example and type whatever you want, for example, type something like that, .com. Uh, you may say, okay, .com like is uh, expensive, it's not cheap. That's why it's going to be something like that. For so example, it's not even available. Okay, I'll just add this example. Click on search in here. And yeah, so example, click on get this and click on buy instead of uh, upgrade. I don't want to upgrade example. So an example for a year is going to be $17.35. If you get an uh, example instead of .com, because you will say maybe it's expensive. Okay, I'll just go for online. This normally cheap or .co instead of .com. So, okay, it's not available for some reason. I'll just go and add another X and let's see. It should not be like, yeah, okay. I'll just click on get it and click on buy. And let's see the price of this dot online. It's cheaper or not. I'm not sure because it depends. So yeah, as you can see, it's even like uh, expensive than dot com. Uh, dot com is the cheapest for some reason here in Wix. Not like other uh, domain registers. So as an example, let's just pretend you already have it. So just go to your Shopify account, make sure to log in, and you'll need to go to this left panel example, click on settings. Of course, go to the specific store that you want to transfer the domain into. Here in the settings, go to this last panel, click on domains. And all you need to do is simply, you can connect an existing domain. Of course, you can even buy a new domain in here if you want to. For example, let's just say the same domain in here uh, as we saw in 
like Wix with $17, as you can see here, it's 15. What about if you look for just .co? What about this one? So, okay, this one is expensive. What about like online? Of course, online will already find it like uh, there. So you can see it's not available yet. As you can see, so .com is 15, .net is 18. Uh, as an example, this is going to be 15 for first year. Uh, you can buy it, of course. Uh, I'll just look for other stuff also. So you can see all the prices in here, as an example. So this is going to be .shop, as an example, cheaper for first year. But year after that, it's going to be expensive. This one, as an example, .store, uh, cheaper for first year. Then it's going to be expensive. And as you can see, you can see all the prices here. You can get whatever suits you. But this is if you want to buy a new domain. For us, as an example, you can just go here and click on connect your existing domain. And here, you can simply, as an example, if your domain meets the requirements, you can even transfer it to Shopify. This is what we want. So just go here and click on transfer it. And as you can see, you can connect a domain without transferring. If you click in here, you can just connect it to your site if you don't want to, which is even better for me. But if you want to just transfer it, click on transfer. Because of course, for transfer, it will need to meet some requirements. For example, here you'll have to enter that domain. So for me, I'll enter a domain that I own, but it's not going to be from Wix, but I'll just show you an example what's the steps that you're going to go through. So for example, domain can be transferred. Why? Uh, it seems like dot .online can be uh, like registered through Shopify. Let's just see. Uh, I'll, I'll hope that this is already taken to see just the steps or to show you exactly how to do it. So yeah, so you'll need authentication code, as we said before. You will need to be unlocked and you'll need to transfer it. Basically, you'll need to log in into your domain registers. For example, this is somewhere. So for you, you'll find Wix in here. Confirm your email, that your email is up to date with your current provider so you'll receive instructions and confirmations and then you'll have to unlock your domain so that's eligible for its transfer as you said before and you'll need to copy authentication code and paste it below here you can call it an example app code and yeah as an example a domain for transfer after like uh, that example price includes in like 49 months carried over from current registers plus one more year so you'll have to pay for another year if you want to transfer that's why i said connecting is always better so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.